I don't want to talk. You keep turning around, actually. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, and Lydia. This video is all about showing compassion for others. And in this video, I share three different stories about how people have treated me during this time. This video is important to me because it covers some of the most basic of things that people should do and that's show compassion you don't know what another person is going through unless they've told you when you're not a stranger you do not have a right to assume that someone who you do not know is out there for no reason let's take this bus driver instance which i did post about on twitter but i was getting on the bus to get my medication which i need to get through a day if i don't have it i can't cope at all which is why i prescribed it and I went out to get them and obviously I had to get a bus because I recently moved from an area in Kingston called New Malden to Surbiton. Um, my pharmacy is in New Malden. I live in Surbiton. I can't walk there. I have to get the bus. And this bus driver took it upon himself to have a go at me. So I can live with police stopping me and asking me where I'm at. What isn't right is for bus drivers having a go. <laughs> I'm literally out because I need to get my fucking prescription and talk to my GP. It's just fucking annoying. What's annoying me about this whole thing is literally that oh. I just I already feel like shit, right? I already feel like crap for the best of times. I don't need other things to add to this. I then got back on this bus, the K5, where he was driving the opposite direction and when we got to the bus station, he got off the bus. And rather than turning and going towards the depot, he turned to me and started shouting at me. He made a dangerous. It's the whole incident that happened is a story in itself, which I did try and tell. Um, it really did affect me. It, it really did. The effect that I had was ridiculous and even now I'm still finding hard to get buses but I have to because I can't drive. Oh sorry, we're filming on the- oh okay. This for, is this for the bus driver video? I just thought it would be a nice little bonus. Little bonus. Because you know England's handling this whole lockdown thing so well and in light of that please read the most recent news so, report. So it's just popped up on my news, on my news app, on my phone. The date is the 5th of May. So um the government scientist has resigned after breaking lockdown rules to meet his married lover. I posted on Twitter a lot about the fact that I do not go out unless I really have to to get my medication. So I was getting the bus to the pharmacy and I got on the bus called K5. I got on that and this bus driver, you shouldn't be out. Me, I'm going to get a prescription. You still shouldn't be out. Okay, fine, whatever. He then decided to continue going on at me and basically treated me like complete crap just because. Then got my medication got back on the K5 going the opposite direction to come back here to where I live now because obviously I've been moving during this lockdown which isn't ideal but I had to move so I moved and I was coming back and it was the same bus driver this bus driver had a second go at me and if I may point out the UK guidelines we are allowed out for essential reason and to be perfectly honest it's not a bus driver's place to determine what is essential and what is not. Another incident that happened was with some old woman at a bus stop and I do have them, I, I do respect the government guidelines and I only go out when I have to. This woman... You are answering back. I don't like to talk. You keep turning around, actually. So am I. Wanted an argument, honestly, but she chose to have a go at me and Becca and we both wasn't there for it you know we're not here for random old people to start insulting i don't care if you think it's because i'm young or that my hair's bright that i'm out for no reason i as well as anybody else knows the current global situation it's really brought out the worst in humanity there's one thing i've always thought and i still believe if you have nothing positive to say don't say it i've had so much hate thrown at me in the last year it is unbelievable unless you work for the police or government you do not have a right to tell anyone they should or should not be out. I'm editing and I realised that I missed a huge, huge chunk in this video and 
honestly, I cannot be bothered to set my camera to sit and film this for a third time. I've filmed it twice already, and I've, I haven't used that most of the footage. So, the reason I made this video is because of the bus driver incident I talk about. I didn't fully explain what actually happened in that. Um, basically, I got on the bus at two different points the same day with the same bus driver, who clearly is either terrified about this virus, which, fair enough, I understand it, but he decided to take it out on me, and it's not like he was saying the same to everyone else who got on the bus, he literally said it to me, shouted at the bus, it was, it was horrible, and I was crying, and he got off the bus, started shouting at me, and I in public, and that's not something I do. I got reduced to tears twice, by someone I don't even know, proper knocked me about, I hate, I hate going out anyway, I, I don't like the outside. I kind of have to use buses because I really can't drive. Like, I don't have a choice in that matter. Honestly, if the bus driver was that, that afraid of it, and I understand no one wants to take a pay cut and whatever, but the government are offering, what, 70-80% of their sal salary that they get? I I'd say if you're afraid, that was a pretty good trade, to be honest. You're not going to get a deal like that at any other point. And, you know, I don't know what this bus driver really had but i wouldn't mind betting it was because i'm young i have bright hair probably thought i was just going out to meet up with friends which i really wasn't but yeah the wrong assumptions people make are always so negative and they always impact people and then no one really realizes why yeah just think before you say anything i just i just thought i had to add something in because i've edited a lot out this video and it just seems like it's missing something and i hope this explains it if you do have any questions feel free to ask in the comments down below i didn't actually film an outro for this video so i guess this is that but if you are not make sure you stay safe follow the government guidelines don't break the law be good you know and if someone says something that offends you do not be afraid to speak up about it that is what i'm talking about here like, this bus driver was so adamant that me reporting him to TfL would not do anything. And TfL responded very quickly on Twitter and via email. And I will put it, they don't give out the information about what happened in the whatever goes on. But I have the knowledge that I placed a report against him with photo evidence and video evidence. I just thought I'd make this video to show that it's, it's really not hard to show compassion for other people and understanding towards other people you don't have you don't have to make assumptions about people you have to make snap judgments and attack them for being out when you actually don't know who they are i think i've rambled on enough anyway three three minutes of extra footage drill it's literally half past 11 at night i want to get to bed